refusing to let him get her personal belongings out of it. 7 News reporter Dale Cedars is asking how this could happen and in the process found what it took to make things right. Dale? And the social media and the news media can be pretty powerful. You know, when Eric Benson learned that Toyota was actually holding his mother's car ransom, Toyota's Facebook page lit up with harsh comments. If you take a look, you can see a bunch of people commenting on what took place here. Then after we started making phone calls this morning, Toyota assured all of these people that things will be fixed. Less than one month ago, Denise Francois was murdered in this home by her estranged boyfriend. She was the, the best mom possible. Police impounded her white Toyota Camry, which was parked outside. And she took care of everybody, always put everybody before herself. Now, her son, Aaron Knudsen, is trying to take care of her business. Now, I tried to call Toyota right away because I wanted to make sure she wasn't past due. I wanted to make sure that the account was going to be paid off. You can see the stack of paperwork he started filling out for Toyota to take over his mom's car payment. But when he went to pick up the car from the impound lot, he found out that Toyota had taken it. And Toyota officials told Knudsen that he would have to reimburse them the impound and other fees they paid in order to get the car. I tried to explain to him, you know, if I was going to pick this car up myself today, I never had to pay for those fees in the first place. They were going to, the detective was going to waive all these fees for me. Seven News has learned Toyota repossessed the car so quickly because the only person listed on the account, Francois, was dead. And they say the impound fees were beginning to add up. But we wanted to know if they were working with Knudsen, why two days after agreeing to let him take the car, they repossessed it. Uh, they're not really giving me an explanation. And within the past hour, I got at least a partial explanation from Toyota. A spokesman tells me that they were not listening and they weren't understanding. Though, within that past hour, they tell me that they are going to allow Knudsen to not only have all the fees dropped if he picks up the car, get possession of his mother's belongings that were inside that car, and if his credit checks out okay, they will let him resume paying her monthly payment. So good news all around, Dan. Okay, glad they were listening. All right, thank you, Dale.